Aadmi Party MP Sanjay Singh is scheduled to appear at Delhi's Rao's Avenue court today hours after his arrest by the Enforcement Directorate following rigorous raids at his residence. Singh has been acquitted for his involvement in Delhi's liquor policy scam case. However, India Alliance has jumped to conclusion, alleging that the central government is apparently misusing independent investigating agencies. While DMK leader and Tamil Nadu Chief Minister MK Stalin has never taken upon the BGP government on the matter, Shiv Sena UBT leader Aditya Thakre also politicised the whole incident. For context, this is the third arrest in the case from Armadli Party after former Delhi Minister Satendra Jain and Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia were arrested for their involvement in the matter, whose bids to secure bail have also failed ever since. Now, it is speculated that Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal might be the next to be arrested in the case as he too was interrogated by the Central Bureau of Investigations only a few weeks back. Kejriwal had stated that Sanjay Singh's arrest is completely illegal, which he maintained even after Satendra Jain and Manish Sisodia's arrest. The Delhi government under Arvind Kejriwal had implemented the leaker policy in November 2021 allowing only private liquor shops to run in the city. While introducing the new policy, Kejriwal claimed of putting an end to liquor mafia and black marketing. This policy escalated Delhi government's revenue by 27%, generating Rs 8,900 crores. However, the policy could not sustain and was scrapped a year later thus allowing both public and private liquor shops to function. This step was taken after Delhi Lieutenant Governor Vinay Kumar Sixena recommended Central Bureau of Investigations probe into the new liquor policy which directly brought Sisodia, the then head of excise department, into the line of fire. Sisodia was accused of giving undue benefits to liquor when licensed in lieu of kickbacks and commissions according to a report submitted by Delhi Chief Secretary Naresh Kumar to LG Saxena. Meanwhile, AAP MP Sanjay Singh cried foul soon after his arrest by the ED officials, stating that he has been forcibly arrested without evidence. Singh's wife, Anita Singh, also claimed that he has been arrested in a fake case. Reacting to the leaker scam case, DMK leader and Tamil Nadu Chief Minister MK Stalin came out in Singh's support, alleging that the central government's vindictive politics knows no bound. He claimed that Singh's arrest is a sheer example of misuse of independent investigating agencies. On the other hand, Shiv Sena Prince Aditya Thakre too was quick enough to add that BGP government takes it out on the ones it is scared of. Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwan Man, coming in support of Sanjay Singh, claimed that PM Modi has become habitual of scaring through ED rates. However, stating that Singh's arrest was correct, Delhi Congress President Arvinder Singh Lovely said that the party doesn't support any type of irregularities and action should be taken against those found guilty in legal policy case. AAP MP's arrest only a month after Manish Sisodia and Satendra Jan's arrest brings the newly launched leaker policy and the leaker policy scam case to the limelight. In earlier stages of the arrest in the case, CBI had raided Susodia's residence, with the agency naming 15 individuals in its FIR where AAP leader's name was on top. After the launch of primary investigation, ED also joined the case to probe the money laundering angle. It also disclosed that AAP had apparently collaborated with the South Group for funding of the Kejriwal-led party Goa election campaign. As part of the initial investigation, members of the Saul group were interrogated in the case. The popular names included K. Kavita Bharti, Rashtra Samiti leader and daughter of Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao, YSR Congress Party MP M. Sinevasulu, Reddy's son Raghav Magunta and Sarat Reddy of Aurobindo Pharma respectively. The investigations so far have only revealed several angles to it. However, it is not surprising to see if opposition comes together for the sake of India Alliance, whose members are mostly in news for all the corrupt reasons. As a matter of fact, the Alliance is most likely unstable knowing that once investigations are open, it can lead to any of the parties involved, which ultimately is all of them. Be it DMK, Shiv Sena, UBT or any other party of India Alliance, who are currently putting allegations on the BJP government. However, it might be interesting to see if any of these parties too were involved in the scam.